drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos <coughs> hola bienvenido a edupediaworld.com en nuestras clases de español nivel intermedio spanish intermediate level let's speak spanish hablemos español on this lecture You will review some adjectives of personality and physical appearance because we're going to use them to compare things and persons in general. Let's see how you do it. You will see that it's very similar in some cases to the English. As a part of the culture of different cities and countries around the world, there are uh, some expressions that can be funny sometimes but are very used in common conversations. This is the case of uh, Venezuelan expressions, expresiones en Venezuela. These ones are very funny and, I wish, and especially very exaggerated. Son un poco exagerados, son exageraciones. So you're going to see what do we use specifically to exaggerate, why these phrases are so funny, and you're going to find on the phrases what we're going to study today. So let's see. Vamos a reír un poco. Let's laugh a little bit. Mm -hmm. En Venezuela decimos, cuando algo es falso, when something is really fake, we say that it is faker than a thousand dollars uh, uh, paper. Mm -hmm. Es más viejo que el agua de la playa. It's older than the water in the beach. Can you imagine? Pueden imaginar. Es más raro que conejo sin orejas. It's weirder than a rabbit without ears. Estoy más limpio que talón de la bandera. Limpio in, in English is clean, but here in Venezuela we use it when you don't have any money. You say when you are broke. Estoy más limpio. So I, I, I would say that I'm a worse situation, economical situation than a woman that washes the clothes, that does laundry, what is lavandera, mm? lavandera is a woman that works um, washing the clothes or doing laundry, so you would say, estoy más limpio que talón de lavandera, I am cleaner than a, um, a woman like this than a woman like this ankle. Can you imagine? So these kind of phrases we use to to make fun of some situations, but especially to express something exaggerated about our actual situation, our uh, situation in that moment. And as you see, to exaggerate uh, a little bit on these phrases, we're using the comparison. Estamos comparando, ¿ves? Comparamos usando adjetivos, using the adjectives, and sometimes objects or persons, animals, por ejemplo, conejo, ¿ok? Así que veamos, let's see, how do we compare? ¿Cómo comparamos en español? ¿Cómo comparar algo superior a otro? Something that is superior to the other one. Mm -hmm. Mira la frase, mi hermana es más baja que yo. Mi hermana... My sister is shorter than me. Estoy más cansada que tú. I'm more exhausted than you. So, can you see? Which are the words that we use in the place of more and then? Bien, más before the adjective, antes del adjetivo, que después del adjetivo, after the adjective. El mismo caso en la segunda frase, más cansada que. Like this. Más, plus the adjective, más el adjetivo, más que. Para comparar algo superior a otro. Do you say more than? You use this. Let's organize the phrases. Organiza las frases. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Which is the first one? Que, tú, ella, más, alta, es. Bien, 
ella es más alta que tú. She is taller than you. Veamos otra. Let's see another one. Tristes ellos que yo están más. If you look at the verb to be, ser, at the conjugation, you will know which is the first person, which is the, the, the noun with which you're starting the phrase. Bien, ellos están más tristes que yo. They are sadder than me. ¿Ves? Es muy fácil. It's very easy. Más, adjetivo, que. ¿Cómo comparar algo inferior a otro? How do you compare something that is inferior to something else? Mm -hmm. Mira la frase. Tu papá es menos joven que el mío. Los niños están menos cansados que sus papás. If you, if to compare something superior, you use más y que, what do you use to something inferior? Instead of less and then, what do you use? ¿Qué usas? Menos, muy bien, ¿qué? Tu papá es menos joven que el mío. Your dad is less young than mine. Los niños están menos cansados. They are less tired than their parents. So, let's see. Menos, plus adjective, más el adjetivo, plus, ¿qué? Menos que. For example, what, which comparison can you establish between a building, edificio, and a house? Casa, using menos que. Menos grande, menos pequeña. El edificio es menos bajo que una casa. The, the building is less tall, is less short than a house. Which comparison can you establish between a motorcycle, moto, and bicicleta, bike? La bicicleta es menos grande que la moto. The bike is less big than the motor. What do you do if you have two things that, that are the same, that are equal? ¿Cómo estableces igualdad? How to establish equality. So, look at these two buildings. Mira estos dos edificios. Tienen la misma altura. They have the same, sort of the same height, right? Mira cómo los comparas. El edificio blanco es tan alto como el edificio azul. Which words do you use to say as, as? Muy bien, tan como. El edificio blanco es tan alto como el edificio azul. The white building is as tall as the blue building. To establish um, these kind of equal things, you use this. Tan, más adjetivo, más como. Tan, plus Adjective plus common. Mira estas palabras. Una moneda, a coin. Un ingeniero, an engineer. Una pera, a pear. Un anillo, a ring. Un profesor, a teacher. Una manzana, an apple. Y mira estos adjetivos. Look at these adjectives. Pequeño, pequeña, small. Inteligente. Liviano o liviana. Look how can we establish equal thing, equal comparisons between two objects from the ones we mentioned. Un anillo es tan pequeño como una moneda. A ring is as small as a coin. Can you try with the rest of the words? For example, por ejemplo, un ingeniero y un profesor. ¿Cuál adjetivo usarías? ¿Inteligente o liviano? Which uh, adjective would you use? Intelligent or light? 
Un ingeniero es tan inteligente como un profesor. An engineer is as smart as a teacher. So good, good job. Now we have last a pear and a, an apple. Una manzana es tan liviana como una pera. An apple is as light as a pear. So as you see, it's very easy to use. Atención con estas reglas. Mm -hmm. Está muy atento. Be careful to these rules. To compare something superior or inferior, we use más que or menos que. We saw that we, we used them before with adjectives, but guess what? You can also use them with adverbs and nouns. Adverbios y nombres. Por ejemplo, ella tiene más lápices que tú. She has more pencils than you. Más plus nombre, noun, plus que. Nosotros trabajamos más rápido que ellos. We work faster than they do. Más plus adverb, adverbio, plus que. Remember this as well. If you want to compare between two nouns and they are equal, you, would, you, you wouldn't use tan como. You would use the adjective tanto. And it means as many as. Tanto plus the noun, el nombre, plus como. As many as. For example, ella tiene tantos lápices como tú. She has as many pencils as you do. Tantos como. Yo tengo tantas amigas como él. I have as many friends as he does. Tantas como. Be careful. Because when you use the adverb, you would return to the tan en como form. For example, yo corro tan rápido como tú. I run as fast as you do. You use tanto only with nouns. As you can see, as tanto is an adjective, it changes gender and number. You see, tantos lápices, masculine plural, tantas amigas, feminine plural. And you do the same if it is singular, masculine or feminine. So be careful to this. There are some irregular comparatives. Hay algunos comparativos irregulares como en inglés. As in English, we have some of them here. For example, for good. In Spanish, bueno. You say mejor que, better than. Por ejemplo, yo soy mejor que tú en matemáticas. I am better than you in maths. Yo soy mejor jugador que tú. I'm a better player than you. You see, you can use to compare and you can also use it as the adverb. Yo soy mejor, mejor que. But since you add the que, you have, you still, you have right away the comparison. For bad, malo, the comparative is peor que, worse than. Su novio es peor cocinero que ella. Her boyfriend is worse cook than her. For old, para viejo, you would say mayor que. Older than. For example, por ejemplo, tú eres mayor que yo. You are, you are older than me. This is when you're talking about someone's age. If you're talking about the condition of an object, you can still use old. You can, for example, este objeto es más viejo que. For joven, young, for young, you have menor que, younger than. Por ejemplo, tu abuelo es menor que el mío. Your grandpa is younger than mine. You see? Es muy fácil comparar en español. Cuando quieres expresar una superioridad mayor, when you want to express something supreme, that something is supreme or extremely good or bad, you would use the superlative. 
los superlativos y en español también los tienes. In Spanish you also have them. Mira estas preguntas y responde libremente. You can answer, you can give me a free answer. Mm -hmm. For example, ¿cuál es la ciudad más bella del mundo? Which is the most beautiful city in the world? Para mí, la ciudad más bella del mundo es París. For example, for me, the most beautiful city is Paris. Now you, tú, ¿cuáles son las mejores películas que has visto en tu vida? Which are the best movies you have ever seen in your life? I bet you have seen a lot and they are very interesting. Mm -hmm. Son muy interesantes, seguro. ¿Quiénes son los más famosos jugadores de fútbol actualmente? Who are the most famous football players nowadays? There are several of them, right? ¿Cuál es el libro menos comprado actualmente? Which is the less bought, the less popular book nowadays? So do you see the blue phrases? La ciudad más bella, the most beautiful city. Las mejores películas, the best movies. Los más famosos jugadores, the most famous players. El libro menos comprado, the less popular or the less bought book. Good. As you see, it's the superlative. Superlativos. And what do you use to create the superlative in Spanish, in español? You use the definite article, los artículos definidos, el, para masculino singular, la, para femenino singular, los, para masculino plural, las para femenino plural, plus, más, plus the adjective, you see, and you use them for all the, uh, the adjectives. Now you, tell me, what do you think? ¿Cuál es la ciudad más bella? ¿Cuáles son las mejores películas? ¿Quiénes son los más famosos jugadores? Very good. Now it's your turn to practice and get um, and get a lot more of information from our videos on edupediaworld.com. It was very nice to see you today. It was the nicest class. Fue la clase más entretenida. It was the nicest class of all. Nos vemos pronto. Hasta la próxima. Chao. Adiós.